favourite sound in the world is the cows eating the grass like that. It's so um, relaxing listening to them. Dairy farming is a wonderful job and I'm really, really proud to work with cows because, you know, these are my work colleagues. Yeah. You know, right. they're, they're not just animals. They're, yeah. uh, each and every one of them has a different personality and a different mm -hmm. tune and comes into the parlour and uh, just a job I love. So Peter, uh, when you think of your farm here and, you know, what is it that makes it special? What is it that makes it sustainable in your opinion? It's an Irish dairy farm. Uh, so we can graze our cows 300 days a year. We can produce enough grass to feed our cows in the, the couple of winter months when they're housed. And it's the uniqueness of the weather we have here. I mean, the sun is shining, we're getting sun showers all day, and it allows us to grow huge volumes of grass. And essentially, those girls are working in the field 300 days a year, turning cellulose into some of the best dairy product in the world. Yeah, there are some voices who say, let's reduce emissions by just cutting herd size, right? Mm -hmm. You've heard that. And there are some places in the world where that's happening. Uh, have you heard that discussion here in Ireland? Yeah, that, that conversation is uh, always on the, in the media and the airwaves here, and a certain rhetoric of people that are saying, cut the national herd. But uh, you know, when I hear national herd, this is our family farm. This, right. this, this, this herd of cows is not owned by the Irish state or the Irish public and cutting the size of our dairy herd to try and reduce global emissions I think is an absolute uh, a joke. It's moving the portion of the herd that we would reduce to another part of the world where that food is still going to be produced. Right. Is it going to be produced in a less sustainable way? It very may well be, and, and there's a high per percentage that uh, chance that, that that might happen because you know, how many how many countries in the world get to produce milk of this mm -hmm. you know, for that uh, that many days of the year? It's actually a process called leakage. Okay? Yeah. When you reduce an emission source like a herd by a third, does that mean you're reducing emissions by a third? And the answer is no, because somebody else picks up the slack and produces instead. And with that, they're taking the emissions with them. And as you said, if you are less efficient, then you're producing more and not less emission. Most parts of the world endorse the notion that let's produce better and not less. Better and not less. Meaning use technologies like better breeding, better feeding, better uh, husbandry systems and so on. And that makes a huge difference. Ireland produces enough dairy to feed 55 million people. Mm -hmm. we're, we're a nation of only 5 million. Right. We export 90% of what we produce and from a welfare perspective, from a sustainability perspective, from an emissions perspective, we're doing everything we can to continue to be the best in the world. We want to do better mm -hmm. and we always will. Yep. The cows, they are grazing, they are converting grass powered by this into highly nutritious food. 